Okay, hi. Um, Taylor just got me all set up to talk about my jumps in Germany because I never really acknowledged it. Um, if you haven't noticed, that's what I tend to do when I'm disappointed in a performance. Um, no, for realsies though. Um, I did want to talk about everything and um, he found a really fancy way to like record on the screen and the camera's recording and it's gonna be like me talking about the jumps as they're happening and I don't know, I don't understand this stuff, it's all over my head, I just kind of do what I'm told. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, um, earlier in February I went to Chemnitz, Germany for a meet um, and that kind of prevailed because early in the year I messaged probably about 10 different meet directors in Europe asking if I can um, get a spot in their kind of more elite meets um, and everyone said no so at that point I was like okay we'll go along with the plan of not really having an indoor season just kind of like using it as training kind of thing um, and then at the end of January this this one gentleman um, did get back to me and he said that they did have a spot for me and they would fly me out there. And obviously it was very short notice. This all kind of happened about just over a week before the actual meet. So was I ready? No, probably not. But I know in my heart that these kind of experiences are what I need in order to get to the next level. Um, and I just kind of wanted to put myself out there with, um, with those 14 meter girls and just kind of like see how I would react so that I can build on it for next time. Yeah, when I say was I ready, probably not. I just mean like triple jump ready. Like I know I'm fit, I know I'm strong. Um, my speed is still kind of getting there, but just from a triple jump perspective, like I only started doing actual triple jumps um, the second week of January. So I knew I couldn't really expect the performance of my life. I was still kind of curious what that kind of competitive environment um, would bring out of me and I expected at the very least an indoor personal best as my indoor PB is only um, 1318 so I was pretty confident that you know despite the fact that I I knew I wasn't all the way there in terms of um, my technique that I'd be able to achieve that so um, we had a travel day from hell heading to Germany got there the Thursday afternoon and the competition was Sunday. So this was also my first experience in having to like navigate um, jet lag and um, what you do leading up to the meet overseas. So that was definitely a really good experience. And I think what I took away from it is that I probably did too much um, because once I did get to the venue, um, we went for the first time on the Friday. I think that leading up to the competition, I probably should have just done like a jog, a stretch, maybe a few harder strides the one day, but um, I just got a little bit ahead of myself and you know, probably did too much on the runway, too much in the pit um, the, that two days before when I was still very jet lagged. Yeah, unfortunate, but um, I'm smarter now because of that and now I know. Um, so the day of the competition, the warm up, I did feel really good. I was extremely nervous. Um, I was ranked second last going into it. That's kind of speaks to the caliber of the people I was up against, which was awesome, but there was also nine of us and obviously only eight make final. So I was just terrified that I was gonna be the one person that didn't get six jumps. Um, so I was nervous, um, which is a good feeling, um, but I felt pretty good in the warm up. But the second I got on the runway, once we were brought into the venue, um, I just couldn't find my rhythm on the runway at all. So typically um, when I'm at a meet, I'll move my approach back 50 centimeters minimum um, from where it is in practice, just from like the hype and everything. I, I If I had my approach where I do it in practice, I'd automatically be over. So I, that's why I always instantly put it back a little bit. So I instantly put it back a little bit and I was nowhere near the board. So right off the bat, I knew you know, there was something up with my legs just in terms of like the travel and what I had done leading up. Um, so that wasn't a great sign, but um, I knew it was something I could I could easily work through. Um, so anyways, we'll get into it. I'll bring up the first jump. First of all, can we talk about Taylor's background? Like how precious is this guy? Okay, first jump, here we go. I 
I also had a much shorter approach than anyone else in the competition, which was interesting. Um, so I'm running and I'm running. So not terrible, I'll slow it down a little bit. So once again, kind of like in my warm up um, approaches, I just felt like I was having to work really hard to get to the board and I just like couldn't really find a rhythm. Like it wasn't that nice fluid running that I like to feel on the runway. I felt like I was like working way too hard and just like too heavy. Um, and it just, that kind of thing is obviously not conducive to a nice quick rhythmic triple jump. Um, so that didn't really set the stage for me. This obviously not a great takeoff position. Um, right off the get-go, I'm having to work to get my hips in line with the rest of my body. So I'm already wasting a lot of time on the ground and losing some of my momentum. Um, all right, through the hop to the step. Um, so the, the board that you're seeing is a three meter board. And on my best jumps, I'm usually at the two meter board. So there's no two meter board or, board in, but even if there was, I obviously wouldn't be at it. I may be 50 centimeters from the three meter. And as usual, jump phase, terrible, go right into the landing. Um, so this jump was 1285. Um, and to be honest, it felt a lot worse than that. So I thought it was a pretty good start. I thought it was a promising sign of the competition ahead. And I knew that I still had five jumps to kind of work through um, whatever was going on in the runway. So I felt pretty hopeful at that point. I'll bring up the second jump. Um, also, um, the Germans wanted to clap for me whether I wanted it or not. So that was um, kind of an inevitable thing. So that run already is looking like a little bit more fluid than the one before. Not quite as heavy, I'm a little bit taller little bit better position at takeoff, a little bit better free leg, oops, um, out of, like, obviously still very rigid, but um, the one before that was a lot worse. Coming through, a little bit further ahead in my step there, but again, my jump phase, just like not a lot of height, um, kind of going right into the landing. And that jump, um, was 1306. So I was actually, again, pretty happy with that because I knew that it wasn't great. So to only be about 10 centimeters off my, um, indoor PB, I thought, I thought that was pretty good and still having four jumps. Um, but again, through the phases, I did just feel a little bit heavy and like, especially watching the other girls that I was competing against, um, just seeing how quick they are through the transition of the phases and how much speed they preserve throughout the jump. Um, I knew that that was a big difference between them and myself. Third jump, you know, I had the 1306 in. I was like, let's just get hyped. Let's get into this. Let's go for it. Um, so I did get the crowd into it. I was feeling good. And I was hoping, you know, with the with that momentum, I would feel a little bit better on the runway. But still, it just felt like I was having to work really hard to get to the board. Um, and then I just didn't like my position coming out of the step. That's why I ended up just kind of running through. Um, we'll watch it again. This is Kristen Gierisch, by the way. Um, in this meet, she broke the German indoor record, um, 14.56. So that was amazing to witness like I didn't go to spectate but that alone kind of made the trip worth it um, for sure so going through this jump again so good push off the board um, I just I, I don't really remember what exactly happened I just remember like hating how I felt um, going into the jump um, Obviously, you can see how far behind my free leg is there and how much time I have to spend on the ground to bring it forward. Um, and then I ended up just kind of running out of it. So fourth jump, really not happy with how I felt speed wise on the runway. Um, so all the remaining jumps are more or less the same in terms of the issues with them. So 
So that was $12.96. Not even gonna slow it down because it's no different than the others. Um, this next jump was probably my best jump that I had, but of course it was a fault. So that's how it goes. So yeah, again, like not a huge improvement on the other jumps, but I did have a little bit more um, power going into the jump phase. I was just focusing on being really quick on the ground out of the step. Um, a lot of things in the way in this view. So pretty decent position going into the step. And a little bit more going into the jump, like I said, but um, still nothing amazing. Just losing a lot of speed through the contacts. Um, my last jump was 13.05. So all in all, pretty consistent day. All jumps between 12.85 and 13.06. Um, to be honest, when I jumped this, I thought it was further than what it was. Um, this probably felt the quickest out of all of them. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed when it came up as only um, 13.05. But um, here we probably have the best view of... So this right here, for me right now, where I'm at in my career, this just needs to be quicker. Um, and we're playing around with a few different cues of how we can do this, but... I think I've talked about in the vlog before, like on a good day when I'm at my best, my hop step is no different than even 14, 50 triple jumpers, which is crazy because I jump a meter less than that. Um, so I am losing all that distance in the jump alone and that's just because I don't really have a jump phase, I'm kind of just going directly into a landing instead of, you know, really getting those hips up and having that takeoff position before I go into the landing. Those are my jumps. Um, was I disappointed? Yes, I was very disappointed. Um, am I grateful for the experience? Yes, again, I know that these are the experiences that I need. Um, and it was good to be around those girls and see um, that they're really not that much different than me. Like the other girls that were there, other than Kristen, she's in her own world. Um, but the other girls that were jumping high 13s, they're really not that much different than me. And I think that I needed to see that because I kind of put 14 meter triple jumpers in like this category that I need to work really hard to get through. And I think I'm finally starting to realize that I'm there. There's just like a few more things that need to click with me. But um, I've had a really good few weeks of training since um, coming back. So I'm just really excited for outdoors. Um, I just realized this is 17 minutes long already, so I'm going to be done. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!